Well, I came in here and was looking for Squirrel Man. He was back in here hiding. He's down in these caves. Look at this handsome guy. Come on up here. Listen to this. Hey. Look at this. Get up there. Nobody's hurting you. Look at him. All right, we're going to do giveaway winners here first for two of my last things. Look at this pretty boy. Hi, oh, buddy. He's the best pet ever. Look at him. Hi, oh, buddy. You going to get any rub? You're a sweet boy, huh? He's a nice little guy. Real mild-mannered. Look at this. We'll do giveaway winners next. Congratulations to the winners. And then we're going to look at a bunch of like airheads, marbles, bottles, stuff like that. It's been raining. I'm going to go airhead hunting today though. I'm working on this video and then I'm going on the river. The river's not up and we got rain. So you try to find some artifacts. I appreciate you watching. Um, there'll be another giveaway in my next upload. I'm getting some stuff together now. So make sure you subscribe. And this old boy, my pet squirrel, will be in lots of videos. Look at him, buddy. All right, enjoy. All right, we'll start this uh, video out here with some giveaways. I got this real old bottle from England that's got an 1881 patent date on it in an antique store. And you're going to get a bunch of other stuff too. I'll ship this this in a like a medium flat rate box and I'll send you bottles I've dug too. So we're going to filter duplicate users and I got the video URL in. We'll get the comments and then we'll come over here and hit pick a random winner. 226 comments. Pick a winner and we got he's going to win this one. Jim Yoni. You find some great bottles and marbles. Well thanks Jim. I know you've commented on here for years. I recognize your name. Um, it's hard for me to remember all the people's usernames, but I remember yours, man. Congratulations. And this is a very unique bottle, that's for sure. And I'll send you other ones too, buddy. Um, Alright. I got this other one in for the airheads. Get comments. 240 on this one. Come over here and hit it, and it's for... There's one, two, three, four points I found. There's other tools and stuff in here, a nutting stone on fire rock. Here's the winner. Kevin Drummond. I love the video. Has a little bit of everything. Arrowheads, marbles, bottles, canning jars, cat statue, ashtray, and squirrel man. What more could you ask for? Well, congratulations, Kevin. You get this really cool frame of arrowheads. And I found all them points in there, and that, all of them on video, and then that one there somebody sent. I hope you enjoy, buddy. I'll get a hold of you, and I'll get you guys' address that won this stuff. Next, I'm going to show you some... It's been raining, so I'm going to show Squirrel Man. I found another turtle outside. There'll be a clip of him. There's going to be Crocs I found, a few airheads, a bunch of marbles to look at. We'll just do all that in this one. Congratulations, winners. I'll get a hold of both of you. All right, I've been looking through some stuff. I dig so much, it's hard to keep track of all the stuff. I was getting marbles out here to show you. Taking a day off today, It's we're going to get... It's sunny now a little bit, but there's lots of clouds. There's heavy thunderstorms coming. It's already been running today, but I got these out, and in one of the stacks was stuff I forgot I even had. Found so many points and stuff. Look at some of the nice points in here. Look at this big, like, big sandy. It's almost like Thebes-ish. And there's a Thebes. There's that double-tip drill. Look at this. There's a Lance. There's a beautiful Amos. I forgot I even found that. And there's some nice stuff in here. Pentagonals. There's a Lance. Huh. Forgot I even found that stuff. I'll have to put that Amos in with the nice ones. But look at all this stuff. This is the frame I'm working on. Look at all these beauties. And this... You can see I have them labeled. This is 2021. I found all of these marbles from like I think the October and November 2019 and September and October 2020. I think, yeah, October and November 2019 to present is I dug all these and this isn't even all of them. Look at all this. Dug all these marbles on town dumps. Right there's these 
2021 there's these two other this is the last frame I did other than this one and you can see right there's one of them pistachio swirls and right there's two more look at all the nice marbles in that little frame man and look at some of these ones look at all these peltier super boys and stuff and all these real awesome swirls come you can see all these there's just so many different types Ooh, that's a nice frame right there look at that July 2020 I found all them in one month there's April June 2020 look at that huge Bennington should bring back some memories for you February March 2020 I remember finding that black one there um, look at these some big alley shooters here and Man, there's the Marble King Spider-Man right there. Right there. That was a good day when I found that. Big Bumblebee Shooter. I know right where I found all these nice ones. Remember the exact spots. Keep going back to them and looking around. There's German handmaids in this, this one here. There's one. And lots of cool stuff. And you know, just since late 2019 to present I've dug all these that's a good bit of marbles and I was happy to find these you know me and that pentagonal right there is nice I remember finding this one I found that laying in water it was in like that deep water laying on the, the bottom that's an awesome piece and there's that dual tip drill there's another Amos right there man fix didn't even forgot I even found yeah hey, I got a few of my favorite pieces out of this frame these Amos points are real hard to find so I I cherish this I will put this in one of them good frames here's a gun flint too that's a rare find I don't find many of these came off like a river crossing site where I found some old coins and stuff that's pretty nice and that Amos is killer I'll get some more I'll show you more stuff I'm kind of cleaning up some stuff today. It's going to thunderstorm. Let it. All right, here's some of the Crocs from, and you know, there's other ones in the house too. But all of these on that shelf and on the bottom, except this one I bought, this Donahoe with e YouTube revenue. I bought it for my mom. It's a huge one. It's nice. I bought that one off Doug. It was like, I don't know. I think I traded him something and paid like a hundred bucks. Ended up paying a hundred bucks. And. I bought this, this Baron, it's a grocer in Wheeling. I bought that one, and I think that's it. That's the, oh, and this one. I bought this one too, the Hannibal Ohio one, because I dug a Hannibal Ohio, I dug this one. And a guy locally had this, and I bought it off of him. You'll never see either one of these again for sale. These are rare. Alex Martin, Dry Goods and Groceries, Hannibal Ohio. Right there, two of them. Here's one from Madam Morris, uh, Doug. S. Hutchinson's and Son, Madam Morris, just a beautiful crock. There's a Conrad, New Geneva, Pennsylvania, a real little one. There's a big Hamilton and Jones one. I'll have to go back to this dump. I found a lot of crocks here. Here's two G higher Bearsville, Ohio ones. I've not only found one, I found two of them, and these are extremely rare. You'll never see that for sale either. Here's a beautiful. <laughs> Here's a beautiful one with, sorry, I stepped on the dog with flowers all over it. You know, there's there's that real beautiful one. Here's a James Hamilton and Company, Greensboro, Pennsylvania. I dug this one right beside that and this same spot. And here's that one back in there with the shields on it. I'll put a link to the video of this at the end. The shield one so you can see it. I'm not pulling it up out of there. It's back in there. That's an awesome crock. But all these in just a couple years, and I only bought a few. Now I got a nice collection for free because of YouTube. And there's another Hamilton and James right here. That's pretty nice, huh? I dug that one too. All right, that's it for today. I'm kind of taking the day off today. It's going to thunderstorm and I'm whipped. Run down from digging. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. And I'll get I'll probably get a dig someplace tomorrow. Let, I'm just pointing these ones out too. I've dug all these. There's some of the ones with the blue lines across that are perfect. A little one and then 
and I have several of them ones at my house. And there's a Hamilton and Jones, but it has a lip chip. But other than that, it's nice. It ain't bad. But it's got a little damage to it. Them other ones are perfect. Well, anyway, that's it for now. Later. Yeah, there's some pretty nice points in that frame. Not bad. See some of this stuff here. I got stuff everywhere. And I'll show you some Crocs next. Later. Here's a couple more cool pieces I saw. Thought I'd show you. You've seen this before, but this is a nice piece. It's Crooksville Church, Brush Creek. It's an E notch. Real beveled. That's pretty cool. Real big base. Look at the orange spots. Classic Crooksville. Pretty cool. I found that one laying out prior to YouTube on a beach, and I saw it. From here to that door laying out it was flat out on a beach like sparkling in the sun and here's a piece i found on video it's a grooved out of out handle weight it's really nice it was laying like that in my screen i thought all oh, that looks good and when i turned it over I about crap myself it's grooved across too that's a really good find don't find many things like this that's a good day pretty cool piece and I found one marble yesterday. It's this yellow one right here with this kind of brown patch on it. It made the frame, but up there for two hours and found one. This is the frame I'm working on, so I'll probably get up there maybe tomorrow. Um, that's looking good. But I'll show you a few more pieces. I'm not going to get any big serrated points out today or nothing. I'll show you some other stuff that I haven't really showed you just around. And I'll show you some Crocs too. The same, about the same time I started digging the marbles in 2019, I started also digging stoneware. And I got these two pieces here. That's a shame on that, Amos. I found that one laying out where I've been digging one day in gravel. This one, that's pretty nice. That's more of a Thebes. That's pretty nice. It's made of Indiana hornstone, or Kentucky, probably Kentucky hornstone. But that ain't bad. I don't know if this guy's still making these points, but got these a long time ago they're reproductions but you can see how cool they look nice clovises and i mean they're made really nice this one here is awesome but right here's the guy see if he still has stuff you might be able to get some nice these are awesome they're nice for repros there's some more stuff up here just you know just stuff i put wall hangers for you Texas guys, there's a pretty nice Inzer knife. It's really well made. Four and an eighth. That's a pretty good piece. Not bad. You know, it's not the stuff I collect. I just came upon it one time for a good deal, so I got it. It's a nice piece to have a Texas knife like that. Let me give you a little shot here. I gotta paint this fence. That's why I'm sharing all oh, this metal fence. I'm gonna set paint all of this wire it all the way down look oh folks that's that's hurting me thinking about it but this is my mom's house it's an 1860s brick home it goes back that way a long way um you can see over here my little dog out here i gotta paint this whole fence oh starting to rust a little i gotta scrape all this and that's gonna take me a while <laughs> probably have to take a week off from YouTube you can see this is my mom's house I'll show you my house on the way back when I get back up I have to come visit my mom every day make sure she's okay I'll get back look at that black storm coming I was right not to get out on the river today look at that that's menacing. I'm heading to my house. Later. Alright, this is my house right here. I live in an English Tudor. There's another one right there. It's Lockmaster houses. But... Alright, it's like 7 o'clock in the morning. It's just got light. I was worried about that. See? Right here is my house. Right here. A big English Tudor. Right here. I had the thing right there, but there's a creek and it was supposed to rain for the next five days. So I got worried he's gonna get down in that creek and get swept down through this thing. So I took him over to my neighbor's house 
up there and I went to check on him this morning because I've been worried you know he's gone and I walked down through there over I'll show you where I released him I'm gonna take this one up and put him right where I released him but look here it's a different box turtle and I found one yesterday and it's the first one I've seen in two years I come out here to check on the one I released and right here's another one and look at this beautiful thing oh man look at him look at this and I'll take him up there and put him right look at this beautiful thing look at this one 